Hello, this is Steve Harris with MuseThemes.com. I'm really excited to show you a new feature in Muse called the User Library, which allows users to import and export graphics and tools directly from Muse. We've been hard at work building this huge library of resources that you can use to speed up your workflow, and this video will explain a little bit about how they work. We've also revamped all of our old templates and streamlined our theming process, but we'll cover that in another video. Let's get started. First, let's bring up a folder and take a look at what the Muse library file looks like. As you can see, we have this file called musethemes-widgets.mulib. That stands for Muse library. And this contains all of our widgets. So if you double click on it, it will actually import itself into Muse, into a new panel called the library. Now we have a whole bunch of folders in here, but the one I just imported is called musethemes-widget. So if I bring that up, you can see that this big drop down appears and we have all of these files within. And if you click on one, it gives you a small preview of what, what it looks like. So we've included a couple of different file types in here, but the first one to start is a form. So if we actually click on this library file and drag it out onto the canvas, you can see that it appears and it's fully styled and it's fully set up for you to use. We've even gone so far as to build all these widgets using a consistent theming process. So for example, this widget uses a swatch that we've called primary one. If you move up to our swatches panel and mouse over it, you can see that's what it's called. These widgets will always inherit whatever the color called primary one is. So if we delete this out and we scroll down to a different library item and this time Let's perhaps pick a slider or a gallery item, something with some images. We'll pick this, slider one, elegant dots. And if we drag this out and drop it, you can see that it appears on the page fully styled, but it also uses that blue color that we've called primary one. This makes it really easy to quickly style all of these widgets without having to modify every single one. And if you go up to the primary one swatch, click swatch options, and change it to a different color, let's say red, and click OK, you can see that the widget changes. Really cool. So our Muse library file contains over 30 unique widgets that you can use to build out your site. And we've included a varying degree of difficulty in these widgets. Some of them are very, very simple, and some of them are really complex and deep. In addition to the widgets library file, we've also built a couple of different ones that you can use for various uses. For example, we've got a color palettes library file. What this does is it allows you to drag out pre-built color palettes right onto the canvas. And as you can see, they actually appear right in your swatches panel immediately. All of the swatches are named, so you can simply scroll through them and you'll always know which one you're using. Let's delete those off and look at the next one. We've included a font kit. And what the font kit is, is it's pre-styled text options. It can be really tough sometimes to sift through that entire web fonts directory and find a really nice pairing of fonts. We've done all the work for you up front. So if you click on an option and drag it out, you can see that you have this perfectly styled text. And of course, it's inheriting once again, that primary color that we set in our swatches panel. I'm gonna change this color back to just a gray and click okay. And you can see it changes again. Our font kit initially includes 10 unique options with a header and then a paragraph option for each. I think this is really going to help people build out sites quickly and not worry about sifting through that library. Let's delete those out and look at the next one. We have a graphic icons folder. And if you bring that up, you can see that we have things like social media icons already included. So if we drag out this one called square social, we get social media icons right on the page and you can actually recolor these icons directly in Muse using the same system of changing the swatch. That's cool. Our graphic icon folder includes other really cool things like modern arrows. Um, we've even included some ribbons for you to use. And again, everything can be completely customized right in Muse. And we've even got a starter nav and a footer option. So if you drag this out on a brand new site, you've basically got an instant navigation bar and an instant footer set up. And we'll continue building out more of these. Next, let's look at the mobile menus folder in our library. This is a really cool feature. So if we go to a mobile version of this page, 
What these mobile menus are, are basically pre-built menus that you would use on your mobile site. So if we click on, for example, the tabbed panel menu and drag it out, you can see that we get a couple of um, elements here on the page. And if we just drag this up at the top, there, now it's in place and it lines up nicely. This button here on the right is meant to represent the standard button for navigation that you'll see on mobile sites. The image below is meant to represent your page content. Now, if we preview this in our browser, and let's just scale the browser window down a little bit so it's more representative of a mobile site, there. Now, if you click on this menu button, you can see that we have a menu that instantly appears. This one uses the tab panel widget, but we've built out a series of menus using all of the widgets. That's it. That's a quick overview of our library system. I hope you're as excited as we are to release this new content. And remember, it's available for download immediately in our members only area. As a member of our site, you have 100% complete access to our library files, graphics, templates, and of course support for one low annual price. MuseThemes isn't simply a provider of templates anymore. We are giving our members everything they could possibly need to build great sites in Muse and to feel confident offering their clients professional web design services. As usual, if anything I explained in this video doesn't make sense, please send us a note at support.musethemes.com and we'll help you out as soon as possible. Thanks again and best of luck working with Muse. Cheers.